G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the True Footy YouTube channel. It's Jesse here and today I'm going to be doing a video reacting to the new West Coast Eagles team song that I'm sure you're all very much aware of. Now, in an ideal world, I wasn't going to do another West Coast Eagles video for a while because I spent like two weeks doing that Adam Simpson documentary, which uh, has been really well received so far. So thank you everyone for your support so far. A lot of effort went into that. Um, but today... I, uh, I couldn't help it because this Eagles song is so, what's the word, controversial, uh, that I couldn't avoid not doing a video for it. Controversial is dramatic, it's just because I'm an Eagles fan and the team song is so important to me, so this is actually like a really big deal. There's that plus the fact that a bunch of people uh, messaged me in my DMs uh, telling me that this would be a good idea for a video, they'd like to see me react to the song, so um, I couldn't not do it. So in today's video, I'm just going to watch along with you. It is a reaction, even though I must admit I've watched it a couple times before, but I'm going to try and make it as authentic as possible and give you my thoughts on it as we go. I must admit that when I was told that they had redone the song, I was a little bit nervous, mostly because I don't like change and I acknowledge that about me. So anything new, I don't really like. Mind you, the Eagles did do a massive rebrand a couple years back and I do really, really like that and like that at the time as well. But a new song is dangerous because I'm one of the few people that actually really, really likes the Eagles song. And don't get me wrong, I acknowledge that it's not a good song, but it's a great song. It's a great footy song to sing along to after the game at the stadium. Um, and I think only fans can really understand that. I think if you're a neutral you'd probably think, yeah, the Eagles have one of the worst songs in the league. So further to that, I discovered that it uh, was by Birds of Tokyo. And uh, ugh, I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of Birds of Tokyo and their music. So that was the second warning sign for me. I was like, oh shit. Then I read the article before I watched the video and, and it mentioned that we had some didgeridoos at the start. And I thought, interesting. I'll give it a chance to see how that will work because it immediately straight off the bat, it has a very corporate feel to it. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I like the idea behind it. Uh, sort of indigenous culture is a big part of the fabric of our footy club, but uh, I wanted to see how it would sound in a song. So let's go, let's watch it from now and uh, I'll try and react along the way. Interesting. Okay, so did you reduce fine? I don't like this little beat. Isolate these nuts. So this is obviously, this is the verse that I believe the players came up with and added in 2019. Didn't really care for it. I don't like that. They've changed the actual like rhythm and the, and the tune of that particular line. I don't like that. I'm fine with the lyrics. The lyrics make sense. Even the first verse, which I uh, which I ripped, but it's okay. I like the magic because that's a reference to the original song from the 80s. Yeah, look, I hate that. I hate everything about that. Look, if you told me that that was going to be the song for an ad for a bank or telethon, it would be really appropriate. But that is going to be terrible at a football game. Can you imagine them running out? So at the moment, the Eagles run out to Joker and the Thief, which sounds awesome. They've done that really well. The match day experience, I believe, at West Coast home games is the best in the league. I've been to Freo home games. I don't. I think West Coast Adopter Stadium is the best match day experience in terms of pre-match build-up. How are they going to transition from Joker and the Thief to uh, to that crap? It's not going to work. Like that. That really just sounds like a crap pop song. Uh, and I really think it probably comes down a lot to whether or not you like Birds of Tokyo. Because if you like Birds of Co Tokyo. First of all, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Personally, I'm not a fan at all. I do get the feeling that this was probably a decision from, my, I guess, their marketing and de branding team. I'm not sure exactly who decides on the uh, 
on the team song, but I imagine it's some sort of arm of marketing. But it's almost as I thought, hmm, who's a cool hip Perth band that the kids all love, appealing to a new generation? This will be great. Look, I won't rag on it too much because uh, I do love the club and I uh, don't want to get myself blacklisted from getting a job there one day. But honestly, I hate how that's going to sound on match day and I think that's really important the match day experience because it's important for me I love the song because it's great to belt out at the end of a game but and I, I really liked our current version the the latest rehash they did like two years ago when every team got their songs re-recorded but I know this sounds really dramatic but I feel like that part I feel really sad that that part of my life is over like we're actually it's actually gonna get replaced with this Birds of Tokyo song um, and I as far as I'm concerned like I, it sounds really dramatic, but I feel like we don't have a song anymore. Like, I'm not singing that. I am not singing that ever at the end of a game. Let's have a quick cycle through the comments. AFL Moment says, It's okay, but it seems like more of an actual song than a theme song. Yeah, you're right. I think he's nailed it there. This isn't a theme song. It sounds like a song for an Eagles ad. Okay, yes, I'm totally not with you on that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I agree, but I guess that's subjective. Most people didn't, or well, a lot of people didn't like the song. I hate this is rubbish. Um, Eagle 87 says it's okay but needs the big birds yeah I guess oh, that was a good part of the old song and now that's gone <laughs> makes it hard to admit I'm an Eagles fan listening to this I think we finally have the worst in the league we are finally the worst in the league at something um, Hunter says imagine this being played after a win it do be sounding like an AFL Evolution background song though yes you've Nailed that, absolutely. Cringe so hard my eyebrows fell off. I love the added Aboriginal influence and change of words from won't die to when I die. I agree with that, but uh, no, I, I hate the song. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of negative comments here actually. There's, I thought it was gonna be more spread out than that. This is a steaming pile. I guess the advantage of losing from now on is that we don't have to hear this abomination. <laughs> well said. Stephen Phillips, friend of the channel, has commented on this saying, I'm a Tigers fan and this is a shocking polar opposite of the team it will represent. Well said, Stephen. Eagles are a proud club and they should have a team song to match that. That's so harsh, but I agree with you completely, mate. Well said. Aboriginal influence tick, pop music, no. Still reckon the Hey Eagles was our best theme. Mark, friend of the channel as well. I don't agree on the Hey Eagles thing. I thought that sucked, but uh, but you're right. Judging by the like-dislike ratio, I think the fans ain't keen. Yeah, it's like 50-50, I think. I may have thrown a dislike in there. Mana says, Mana's lasagna. Surely not the real cricketer. Says, this is rubbish. Feels like a tourism ad. <laughs> exactly, it really does. Or like a bank. Wow, there's a lot of hate here. That is crazy. Birds of Tokyo is a bad choice. Yeah, so a lot of people are actually echoing what I think here. <laughs> Mitchell says the singer sounds like the guy from Birds of Tokyo Yeah, look, I won't rag on it too much more uh, I've said my piece, I've, God knows I've done enough Eagles content lately But I did have to get my voice heard on this issue Because yeah, no, I'm really, I actually really disappointed this, Some people say the song doesn't matter, the jumper doesn't matter But to me, that's all important uh, as part, as part of the, the fan experience uh, I'm actually genuinely sad I am a lot less triggered than I was when I first heard it yesterday um, and then the final test will be hearing it at the stadium and seeing if it's any good But to be honest, I don't have my hopes up there. So anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you guys thought um, Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't checked it out already I'd love you to go check out my Adam Simpson doco that I released a couple of days ago or whatever it was Because um, yeah, that was a big effort that one. I know it's not perfect But uh, I really enjoyed making it and hopefully that's the first step for me making more creative stuff like that that I really enjoy doing. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.